So, um, yes, yesterday we got a Nintendo Direct, which I didn't, I didn't know that we were going to have one yesterday. Uh, when I woke up, after I took like a few hours of a nap, after uh, waking up at like 5.30 yesterday morning, uh, so yes, um, some I did expect, some I did not actually expect it at all for the Nintendo Direct. I know, like, some people said rumors about this last week, that we were getting a remake to Super Mario, uh, RPG, which I thought you could download the game, which is a remake to the classic, uh, Square Enix game, which, yes, uh, the original game was made by Square Enix, and so is this one, and this one will be out on digital, on the Nintendo eShop, and, uh, well, physical copy for $59.99, uh, which, find that really surprising, because I'm surprised they didn't make it up to, like, $70, like they did with, uh, Tears of the, Ke of the Kingdom, and the upcoming, uh, Mortal Kombat 1 game that will be out in almost a few months from now, and surprisingly, we are getting another WarioWare game. Uh, yes, we did get Get It Together, which, uh, came out two years ago, like, Almost like three months since Kasia came out for DLC in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and uh, this too, which I'm actually am shocked that uh, Princess Peach is getting another video game. Like you know, like how Luigi gets uh, like three video games about, about him being a, a haunted mansion. So speak. So, yes, uh, which I want to say this is going to be a sequel to Super Princess Peach, because a lot of people say it's kind of like a spinoff to Super Mario, but you get to play, uh, Peach to rescue Mario. But, anywho, uh, also another thing, too, we're also getting Luigi Mansion's Dark Moon, which came out 10 years ago on the Nintendo 3DS. Re-releasing on Nintendo Switch. Which I find that pretty cool. And last and certainly... Well, we got one more to do. We are also getting Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4, the game that I am mentioning for the first time. Which, yes, if y'all know, I am an Olimar Al main. From Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, which, the game will be out by the 21st of July. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna play it or not, cause, uh, cause I'm trying to wait till next week to get the AEW Fight Forever game I pre-ordered on Switch. And, uh, another thing too, which I am actually shocked about, also, that the Batman Arkham Trilogy is coming to Nintendo Switch. Uh... Which, uh, it's gonna be a re-release of Batman Arkham, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, well, okay, no, let me refer to that. Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, and, surprisingly, Arkham Knight, which will be making its Switch debut by fall of 2023, which... Some people is actually pre-ordering it, which I don't know why they didn't do pre-order with pre-order it. Pre-order of it yesterday when it was announced. But hey, it is what it is. But anyway, guys, what's your guys' thoughts about the Nintendo Direct from yesterday? Let me know down in the comments below. What's my thoughts about it? I'ma give it like a 10 out of 10. But anyway, like I said, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.